Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review in the middle of Storm Car or Kiera or whatever it is. Stara Proman, um, a premium lager that appeared when I was at Sainsbury's. 5% volume, big 660ml bottle. We better get cracking because uh, it's going to take a while to neck free 660. And it's got to be done, aren't it? So, available on the Wild Lager section. In Sainsbury's, anyway, I don't know what the other stores call it, but it is a Wild Lager. From Prague, which is in Czechoslovakia, I presume. I hope so, anyway, because otherwise I'm going to go out full. And there you go. Um, more, more or less a golden amber colour with a white head. A bit darker than normal lagers. Lovely aroma to it, it's got a proper nice, um, obviously it's a malty aroma, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of lagers take, tend to smell pretty much the same but I do like that, it's got a nice, uh, my mouth's watering as well, first one today, I've done well, it is, uh, it's nearly five o'clock. Ooh. I do like that. Now when you say premium, this is one of them. It's um, it's definitely a step up from your, your standard lagers. I'm not going to slag any, but any other lagers off, but we know what the standard lagers are. Two big in with C, one begins with F. <clears throat> and they're the biggest sellers in the UK. Doesn't mean they're the best though, does it? It just means that they're cheaper and marketed uh, more. And uh, more, there's more of it, you know, um, at a price which suits the populace. Doesn't mean it's the best, obviously. So, good lacing around the edge. Not not really a fizzy carbonate, full of carbonation. But that's probably a good thing. You know, some of these beers are so gassy. Ooh. I've got to say that's uh, that's quite nice. That is, it's it's got a nice smoothness to it. It's not like I said, it's not too gassy, and uh, and even on the day when it's absolutely Baltic out there in the wind, I've, everywhere I've drove today there are trees down across roads. The, the fire, the fire engine service and the police are, do, are, are certainly doing their work today. One of them days, obviously, when it's like this, if you haven't got to travel, don't. If you've got big trees near your property, keep an eye on them. Um, as a gardener, you know, 30 years experience, um, on days like this, we close the park. Why do we close it? Because, it, it you know, um, trees could come down, people can get killed in this weather. Especially on big public parks. I dare say when I go into work tomorrow, there is going to be carnage on the streets. It's, there's, I was supposed to be mowing tomorrow. That's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be uh, go around all day uh, picking branches up or, you know, something like, along those lines. Um, that's just going to be the way it's going to be. And uh, we are in the eye of it at the moment. It was really bad. Now it's calmed down. It's just a little bit blurry. And then tonight, again, it's going to come at full pelt again. I mean, I've gone around today and I've repaired, repaired fence panels. I've one on my front garden, this post, I can see where the post is, I think it's snapped. So I've actually put wooden stakes into the ground just to solidify that where it is wobbling. But uh, eventually it's going to be a new post, but um, I'll hold off as far as I can. Put metal rods in if need be. Obviously, I'm a gardener. I know how to do the tricks of the trade. <laughs> Just to hold things. To save money, really, you know. Um, and not long did I put posts in anyway. Flipping posts. Don't last long. Anyway, back to the lager. Got a nice sweetness to it. Sweet malts. Got 
got to say, it's got to be in one of the, you know, towards the top end of the loggers. And obviously there's a lot of loggers out there, they're all vying for that um, king of the loggers position. And uh, I mean, you look in, in the lager category now, or lager beer as they call it as well, there's so many to choose from, from all over the world. So if you're a fan of different la world's lagers, it's great, you know, to have a taste of something from a different country. Obviously, this is from Czechoslovakia, Stour Proman. As far as I remember, it came out in about, I remember it putting it on the shelves for the first time, and about 2013 over here. That doesn't mean it came out in 2013, that's just when, when it appeared in Sainsbury's. Obviously, shops have got their, they stock where beers and lagers, how they feel, and they'll have a, a change, and then they'll just dump the brands, and it's sad, but that's just the way it is in business, I suppose. Brewed with fashion, using the finest ingredients, including premium Czech hops. Brewed since 1869, when two visionary brewmakers brew set out to create a beer that would be better than the rest. Displaying true craftsmanship, Stara Proman is brewed with passion, using the finest ingredients including premium Czech hops and embodies the spirit of Prague in every sip. Brewed in the UK by Molson Coors Brewing um, Company. Molson Coors being the owners of Carling. Did you know that? And I think they also brew um, for Sharps Brewery, Doombar, and many other brands as well. I think Des is Desperados, Fosters, Heineken, I'm not sure. It's funny how the brands are brewed here. Because obviously you're not going to ship that, ship that from Prague to here. So you'll get all the ingredients from Prague and you'll brew it in this country. Which tends to happen with a lot of, you know... The cost of brewing stuff over here is that much that it's far cheaper to brew it in this country using whatever and then bottle it in this country as well. It just it's just saves money in the long run. And a, and a damn nice pint as well. Well, 660 mils, pint in a bit. So I've just been to uh, B&M today, picked up some bargains behind me. 15 bottles of spirits for 12 quid. Little miniatures, that is. You know, not big bottles. Wow, that would be something. And a couple of new beers that I ain't tried. Well, one lager, one beer. So, um, I wasn't going to buy no beers this week, as I've been telling people on this. But, hey oh, the lure of the beer got me again. Plus, my, my daughter's brought me a bar sign that I'm going to proudly display somewhere. Probably here somewhere, move some of these over. And uh, uh, something else for the beer room. And hopefully I'll get it sorted soon and get the, all the electric, everything plugged back in. Get it all up and running. For the summer months and for the, you know, coming down here in the summer, cracking open a beer, doing a beer review, sat down with the camera facing me. That's going to be it. That's going to be a thing soon. Just sat there, feet up, fire on, doing a beer review. Chilling out and talking rubbish for 20 minutes. But as it is, yeah, this is quite a nice lager. Um, and definitely, if you're used to, your, you know, the Carlings and Carlsbergs, Fosters of this world, it's good to try something different, to broaden your horizons. Uh, you may not want to go as far as going to beers, but try in different world lagers. There's so many out there, and it's it's worth having a dabble. You know, a lot of these are two quid a bottle or three for five if you're lucky, and um, it's worth showing support to different breweries and uh, you know just trying something new. Because we all sometimes you can get you can try. I used to be uh, somebody who drink the same beer week in week out, and now. 
I, I hardly ever drink any more than one of a, a particular brand. I've got to say, that's going down beautifully, as it should. Oh, so it is freezing here. It's, what is it? It's actually 10 degrees. It don't feel like 10 degrees. That wind is absolutely cutting. Um, when I get back in the arse in a minute, put the laddie's dinner on, little boy, and uh, chill out, watch some TV, I think. Although, my daughter, obviously, a lot of this is done through social media. YouTube, social media, Facebook, and Instagram. And my daughter's told me a way of getting on Instagram and uh, being... Uh, actually tagging, not just, you, you tag the companies in, and uh, I've never done that before to my reviews and my, t and my posts. I it's, it's a way of, you know, getting bigger, I suppose, you know. Although I suppose you can do that in other ways as well, but I'm not going to go down that road, it's a family channel. Yeah. I'm not going to lower the tone, no. No, I refuse to go down that road, no. Not when I'm sober anyway, when I'm drunk, yeah. But when I'm sober, no. Oh, gosh, it's cool. So. Golden Amber Pour. Whitehead. Um, lovely malts on the nose. Same on the taste. And as with all lagers, they're all very samey in the taste. What I can tell you, it's a smooth, less gassy version of lager than you used to. And uh, for me, one of the better lagers out there. Um, I can't say I've had it before, not that I remember, and certainly not in the review uh, capacity. Got a nice bite to it, and uh, refreshing. What can you say? Really nice. Um, Out of five then, ooh, I really liked it. Um, for a new lager, I was expecting it to be good anyway, because my old employers, who um, you know, I'm not overly fond of these days, just by the way they treat the staff, but obviously they choose the best and uh, they're known for it. And this definitely sits amongst the best out there. Um, obviously from Czechoslovakia, so it's great to try beers from around the world. You know, sticking to English beers, or so-called English beers. Um, I mean, Carling's English, as far as I know. Carlsberg is da Danish, Foster's is Australian, but they're the three most popular in the UK. But again, this is a really nice beer. Definitely one worth trying. Out of five, I'm going to give this a 4.4 out of five. Really liked it. Definitely worth getting a crate of that for a summer's evening. Barbecue. Jobs are good. Right, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon.